So DC has an interesting business community. It's built based on integrators, and integrators are companies that provide solutions. They're government contractors, right? So there's a whole niche of companies that actually provide solutions to government contractors, and they are called integrators. Uh, a company I work for, PC and Strategies, is such an integrator. And these integrators basically have to be able to cope with practically every imaginable need that the federal government uh, requires. When I say federal government, I'm, re I'm, respond I'm um, talking about DOD, I'm talking about um, financial, IRS, I mean everything imaginable. I mean the, the, um, the industrial complex, right, um, that, uh, that we have created in, in America and not only that, the educational complex and the financial complex, all these different things are supported by government contractors and integrators. Now, consider this. You know, natural disasters are on the rise because of uh, climate change and just unprecedented things like earthquakes and other things that are occurring. Now, imagine if we had a social venture that leveraged the integrator community in, in Washington, D.C. that has already been in place for the last, basically growing over the last 50 years and developing and in, in, in solving solutions from logistics to emergency response to, um, you know, every, you name it, they're, they're doing it. And imagine by creating a pipeline to these services to um, uh, natural disasters and other events. So, for example, you know, if we wanted to, we could provide the same sort of logistic support that a company like Halliburton does in Afghanistan and supporting bases or anything else. Um, and if all this was treated as a social venture, not as a, you know, like BAE Solutions or Lockheed Martins or General Dynamics, which basically turns around and, and gives a few people tons of money for you know for um, what they do they make a few people extremely rich what if we took that money instead and we reinvested it in keeping costs down we reinvested it into creating new solutions we reinvested it into creating a, an emergency response social venture that can complement and, and, and supplement the needs of governments around the world right it's kind of simple. So Help Japan Co. is really a pilot for this kind of idea. Um, and, you know, as being a, as a business development director for an Inc. 500 fastest growing company in Washington, D.C. that works in supporting integrators, right? Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's an incredible opportunity here. And there's an opportunity for good. So, in, so Help Japan Co. is really a pilot and a pioneer social venture fund to address the needs of communities and peoples and survivors. We're a long-term solution. We're a proactive solution, not a reactive solution. And, you know, by investing $100 or $1,000 or $5,000 or $10,000, whatever it is that you can in helping us launch, you know, we should have $35,000 raised this week. We still have, you know, 75,000 to go. And we have about 70 days to raise this funds um, and to get our project launched. So you can help by sharing this video, by making a, a you know, a contribution. We're not a nonprofit. We're a social venture operating under the, the uh, you know, the um, umbrella of a C corporation, Foundups Corp, whose existence is thus just there to take innovative ideas just as Help Japan Co. and to enable them to become successful startups. So the idea of what we're seeking to do is very straightforward. The models exist for it. Um, the partners exist for it. And the, you know, the thing that we're missing is, you know, raising some silly capital to launch. And I hope you'll help there. My name is Michael Trout. I am the founder of Help Japan Co. I live in Japan. Here is uh, rice paddies around me. This is my family's rice paddies. 
Um, and um, you saw the devastation. I'm trying to make a difference by launching a venture that will have a long-term significant impact on helping the smaller communities rebuild because they're the ones who are going to need our help more than anything else. And, uh, and hopefully, in doing a good job in Japan, we develop a solution that will become a global entity as big as BAE Solutions or Lockheed Martins or, or any of the you know, General Dynamics, any of these large government uh, contractors. And instead of being just a government contractor for the United States, we've become a social venture for governments around the world in providing the solutions in an extremely timely, professional way to assist them in their times of crisis. Thank you.